it's built on the, the same music platform that powers the S40, S60, and Vigo uh, music experiences. We have a 15 million track catalogue globally. Okay. And we're uh, in 38 markets around the world. The application uh, playback of local music, so that's the end of the things that you've sidelined onto the device okay. and everything that you've downloaded. So that's the part that integrates in with the uh, music and videos hub or whatever it is? Yeah, it's the same, the any music that's available in the Zoom app okay, Zoom. device is also available to playback local okay. music yes. device. Sorry, this software. Um, we have the MP3 store, which is where you can browse and search for music you want to buy, pay by credit card and download. Now, is that through the Zoom? No, that's from Nokia's own catalog. Oh, okay. So that's the, the so, million tracks. That okay, and is that based on regions at all? Or? Um, we, yeah, we're in 38 markets. Oh, okay. okay. It's actually a broader spread than the Zoom catalog. Right. As I was going say, the Zoom is kind of limited to the US and a few other places. Yeah. 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 Okay. And then there's a gigs application, which takes the GPS data from the device and finds any concerts that are happening in the immediate area. Okay. You can then uh, buy tickets for those and then show you where the green maps where the concerts are located. And then the mixed radio, which is the cool part that everyone wants to see. Um, this, uh, we got here early enough that we have a good internet connection to yeah. demo this properly. So we have a list of genres, which will be, this will be localised and the list of genres will vary depending on the territory that the, uh, the software is in, so okay. we'll have the most relevant genres. Within each of these genres, there's around 10 or 11 uh, playlists that have been generated. And um, again, these will be localised to be the music that is um, relevant. Okay. So there'll be some relatively consistent playlists across the different genres of things like new releases and bestsellers. And then further down, there'll be more specific ones like, in this example, 80s pop, okay. and urban pop, 90s pop. So within the rock station, there's a the 90s old rock channel, there's um, uh, blues rock, different stations like that. Each of these, just press play, and uh, Wi-Fi willing, it will start to play. And normally, this will start to play back within between two and five seconds. And is that uh, over 3G too? Yep, it's a 3G and Wi-Fi. But when we were coming up here um, to set up the show, we came up in a minibus, we were listening to this on 3G on the motorway the whole way. Yeah. It was all good, and it worked. Yeah. So there we are, so it's playing uh, Black Eyed Peas from the party timer. And uh, then special. you have options to... Uh skip the song or yeah. jump ahead? Or? So you can skip through the songs. There's a limitation of uh, six skips at any time. Okay. Um, obviously you can pause and resume and there's also a download link. If you want to actually buy the track, that takes you through to the store. Okay. Where you can pay on the credit card and download. Uh, and really cool. and there's no limits on the streaming? No, it's all um, it's all free. You don't even have to sign in or create an account to access it. Oh. You can do it straight up. But if you're turning the device on and go through the initial setup, been listening to music in about 30 seconds. Wow. So. That's great. That's something that a lot of people, you know, they have the screen device like, oh, I have no content. Yeah. <laughs> that's the exact reason that we've been pushed to have it this way. You don't need to sign it. It's just immediate access. You buy the phone, you get music straight away. You don't need to add anything. You don't need to pay for anything. You right. sign it. You to the PC, try to get the music on it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So the coolest thing, I think, and actually the thing that's really helped us with the demos yesterday is that um, you particularly like a station, and maybe you want to listen to it on a journey, you know, on a fly, you might go to the underground, you might not have this reception where you're going. You can know, press and hold on the, um, on the station, and then you can choose to make it available offline. And that will download about three hours of content from that station and store it on twice. Oh, OK. And then you can listen to that, even if the device is in flight mode, you don't have to have any connection at all. have up to four stations um, saved offline. Okay. So that's around 12 or so hours of music that you can get for free. And is the, the hours of music that is based on? Uh, well, we pick about, we take 50 tracks. Oh, okay, gotcha. And so the, the duration overall varies depending on so the that's, a lot, that's a lot of music. Yeah. 12 hours offline, yeah. yeah. I mean, it covers any flight pretty much. Yeah, yeah you should hope, you should hope, yeah. And there's, um, there's no restriction on how often you can chop and change those. If you listen to a station you want to get another one, you can just like, press and hold again on these ones, delete it. So, like, if you have the, if you have four stations here, will they be refreshed at all? Um, they don't refresh unless you do it manually. You do, do a press tap and, and hold and then press and hold and choose to refresh. Okay, gotcha. Um, if the station's been on here for more than thirty days, you have to refresh it. Okay, okay. and that's to do with our licensing oh, uh, right. restrictions. That's great, though. I mean, you know, this is. I've seen streaming services, but the thing is with this caching, it's usually a ten dollar a month kind of thing. Right. Okay. So, as I understand it, we're the only service that offers this um, worthwhile caching. For right. For free. Yeah. Yeah. So the download is not not as quick as it would be normally because we're sharing Wi-Fi amongst. Yeah. 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 I got to try connection yesterday. Wasn't it? Yeah, it wasn't anything. Great. Right. It wasn't great. But most of the devices that are down there, I've set them up in my hotel room a couple of nights ago, and over three G, down near the station, in about five minutes. Oh. So three and a half hours. Yeah. It's not bad. 
Um, so also in the mix radio, we have a creator station where you can add in um, one up to three artists for the station and then see the playlist that's based on those yeah. artists. So if you say Will it find just those artists or like related kind of artists? It'll be related artists and the artists that you ask for are likely to come up with okay. so It's not guaranteed, but right. they are. But at least you kind of know what kind of music you're looking for. Yeah, yeah exactly. So you can, um, you can create those and it stores all the recent ones down there. Okay. So set up. And lastly is the um, personalised. Um, this one is the only feature that actually requires you to create an account for login. Everything up to this point, no, no login required at all. And the reason that we need the login here is so that we can actually personalise some of the data and store it against your account. Okay. So the way this will work is there's a short URL that we'll display here. You go to that on your PC, and then on the Mac or on the Windows, you can download the application and scan through your computer apps. Pulls out all the metadata from files and the artist's title and the album the track was taken from sends that back to our service. We then match that against our catalog and then we know what music we like. Uh, and in here when you press get my music DNA, which this one will work on the it pulls down how many tracks you have in each genre and we present a view back to the user that shows um, uh, sort of illustrative style. Oh, to represent the, um, the top yeah, three genres, but, uh, and then we also have a list of yeah, yeah, yeah. the other genres of music that have. Each of those genres has yeah. a play button, Where's that need to you press play, it generates a playlist for that genre based on the artist's performance. Yeah. 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 So it's like a personalised... And again, that's free, but you do need to create an account on that. So let's have a play. That's a lot of options on that thing, actually, for a free service. Yeah.